Hey guys, so there is a sleeping princess on the bed and we are about to wake her up a little bit. Um, I've never done a video with feeding a rebel before so we're going to give that a go. Um, and I can't really see the camera so hopefully we are picking up everything and you don't see a bunch of me. And whilst we feed Maggie, I mentioned that I would do a resolutions video. I have filmed for this already, but um, I wasn't happy with the video and I also spoke a lot. So let's try this video and not make it so long, right? So I've written out <coughs> excuse me, two lists. One is an artist and one for collecting and yeah, so I hope to make some changes um in the nursery this year for both myself and oh that's cute um both myself and for the actual nursery side of things so um i can't wait to share some of that with you guys and i've got some new exciting video plans hopefully coming soon <laughs> that's just socks you can't even see her socks not that you can on camera anyway, but um, they are exactly the same colour as the blanket. So <laughs> there are no feet involved here anymore. But um, I slept with Miss Maggie last night um, and it was very, very nice to share the bed with such a sweet chunk I haven't met. So um, yeah, this is probably going to be very awkward because she's actually quite far away from me. So. <laughs> Yes, I'm just gonna. It's very cold and rainy here today, which is uncharacteristic of a uh, uh, Kiwi summer. But um, we will get there, won't we, Maggie? Okay, so as an artist, I want to stop buying so many kits. Um, this last year, I have. Um, spent a lot of money on buying kits, trying to keep up with everyone, and, uh, sorry guys, I'm just going to, there we go, um, trying to keep up with everyone, and, um, you know, there was always the excuse of, that's a really good deal, I won't get it that cheap again, or, um, that's a limited edition kit, it's better get it while I still can before it's sold out and goes up in price. And whilst those are very logical reasonings, um, I was just so overwhelmed by how many kits that I bought last year. And there is a wardrobe um, full of kits right now. Well, it's not really the whole wardrobe, just the shelf. But uh, it's right to the top now, so um, I really need to concentrate on only buying kits that um, are needed in the nursery, that I have a clear focus on buying um, and creating, or obviously for myself. So, yeah. Um, the next one on that list is to experiment more with colour and tutorials. I just want to grow further as an artist and show more variety in my work this year. Um, a lot of my babies towards the end of the year became very golden. And whilst I really, really like the way that they look, I want to not just make golden babies every single time um, and show more variety in skin tone and depth and all that. Um, the next thing is to value my work more. Um, I want the Reborns to be um, affordable for everyone, but um, I have to realise that you know, they have to be um, at the value that they should be now. I mean, I've improved my work greatly. This is very hard to do, guys. I've never done this on camera. Um, yeah, so they've uh, my work has greatly improved over the last year, I believe, and I think I need to value my work more um, for the hard work and time and supplies that I put in. Um, so definitely want to be creating better quality babies rather than quantity over 2016 and yeah um, and finally on this list is to work on a better presentation in my photographs and packaging 
because I really really want the box openings for you guys to be amazing and breathtaking and I'd love to see someone do a box opening video from my nursery that would be so cool um, and um, see beautiful packaging and for photos I really suck for um, originality so I'm trying to improve I brought some props and I still want to buy some more props um, very soon so yeah um, she's all done with that well my arm is about to be done with that <laughs> um, so I want to improve on um, things to do with the nursery um, and just present myself better so that is the artistry um, <laughs> it's my sister um, that is the artistry side of my resolutions um, and now once we get this off um, I will do the collecting side of things won't we Maggie she's so sweet okay so <clears throat> to spend more time with my collection is a given I felt um, like I didn't spend enough time with my collection over the past year and um, I really want to improve on that um, even if it's just five ten minutes a day these babies all have different personalities and they bring me different kinds of comfort so um, I definitely want to spend more time with them all and um, not just like little moments I want to um, focus on one baby here and there um, and go from there so that will be really fun for me I think um, to enjoy what I have and not feel so guilty again I've spoken about this before I feel guilty for having so many babies and not truly spending a lot of time with them because I'm always making new babies for everyone else I don't normally get as much time for myself but um, doing videos has been great, greatly helpful in doing that and improving that um, theme Thursday is a blessing and I might do onesie Wednesday and suck it to me Sunday more often yeah so um, that's definitely helping me spend more time with the babies but I don't feel like making videos is such a chore yet I hope that doesn't change so yeah um, to remind myself that Leo, Charlie and sometimes even Medley show my progress and aren't poorly painted because they are my earlier work I find myself struggling sometimes when I look at them and I'm so into realism and um, getting better in my own style that sometimes I look at Charlie and Leo and even Medley like I said and feel a little bit disheartened that they don't match what I make now but um, recently I thought about it when I was looking at Leo and he is still gorgeous they all are still gorgeous to me they hold a lot of emotions for me um, from my journey so um, definitely um, when I'm feeling low about them I'm going to remind myself of that um, if there is no bond to let it go so if I bring any new uh, babies into the collection or maybe I get to a point where I don't love a baby anymore it's not the end of the world to give them up it's not for life um, they're not a real baby um, definitely there are emotions that come into play with these wee guys though and um, I want to make sure that um, if there's no bond left or no true bond that was built like I did with Arlo to find them an amazing home and everything worked out for him beautifully so I hope for in the future the same thing will happen for any other baby that comes out of my collection for adoption uh, I have no problem selling babies that I make for sale but it seems really difficult to give up the ones that I have um, expressed my own personal love for um, and finally to, oh no there's two more um, to try to not increase the collection by too much so I do want to have a bigger boy again I miss Ryder um, not so much Ryder himself because he's gone to one of my dearest friends in the community, Maggie, who this one's named after. Um, and so I'm not, I don't miss him. I think he's in the best place ever, but I miss his size now. 
And it's funny because that was one of the reasons why I gave him up. I wasn't really into the big baby. I wanted newborns, and now that I've got just newborns and Charlie, I kind of want a bigger baby. So, um, definitely want a, a bigger boy, and there are a lot of boys' clothes left over from riders that I keep looking at and going, oh, I really wish. And when I'm at the shops as well, most of the clothes don't come in the newborn size anymore, and it's just like, oh, I really want that. So, um, definitely that will be another addition to the baby family 2016. Um, and there is also another little girl coming. I know Paul Leo and Bailey are overwhelmed by girls. It's crazy. But, um, yeah, I'm so excited for her. Very, very excited. And the feeling that I got when I saw her kit was exactly the same feeling that I got when I saw Bailey. So, she's probably going to be very, very special. I pray to God she does. Um, because Maggie's pretty special right now, as you can tell. So I hope that that feeling is there for her as well. So yeah, they're the only two babies that I can think of that will be joining the collection 2016. But who knows, right? I don't want to get too big though, because it does really overwhelm me. And I already have six, so eight babies is not too bad. <laughs> I hope. Okay, and the last one... Ironically, I was just talking about how exciting they are when I see them when I'm out. To try and not buy so many clothes, I think that's the most unrealistic resolution I have. Um, I have to buy clothes for all the sale babies that I um, have to make, so and all my custom order orders. So, yeah. Um, to not buy so many kits and to not buy so many clothes are the main things that I need to focus on this year. And if I buy clothes, I have to give up something. I hoard so many baby clothes thinking, oh, I'll use that next winter, and then winter comes, and there's all this new style, and I just don't bother. So I really need to start selling or gifting away some of the clothes that are sitting in the drawer. So that's that for my resolutions, guys. I hope you enjoyed me failing at feeding Maggie on video. Um, and now I am going to go and edit this for you all, so I hope you're all having a great 2016 so far, and talk soon. Bye!